Hey there, it's Joseph from RoboFlow. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to label images for computer vision so you can prepare your own data sets to do object detection. Now, the tool we're going to use for labeling today is called CVAT, the Computer Vision Annotation Tool. It's free to use and it was open sourced by Intel a couple years ago. Um, now, when we label our images, we're gonna be creating bounding boxes to be able to do object detection effectively. Uh, now, the way that we are going to label everything, I'll show you in a second, but your first question should be, what is it that we're going to label? And let me show you, let me get myself out of the way. Okay, so on my desktop here, I have uh, a few images that I captured from a drone. So these are uh, images looking down at a lake and you can see there's, there's docks, there's lifts, uh, and in some cases there's boats, like one here on the edge. I'm going to pretend that I want to train a model to recognize boats, jet skis, lifts, and docks, which means I need to label each of those things in my images so that I can train a model to see them as well, okay? So I've got my data set up and I've got uh, some, some data collected. Now the next thing is, how do I use CVAT? I'm glad you asked. So first things first, uh, you just need to visit cvat.org. Um, now you can create an account for free uh, and you'll be directed to, to this page. So you can create an account with your username and your password and then you're here where you have no tasks created. So the first thing is I need to create a task. And when we say create a task, we mean create a labeling task. So here, uh, create the task. I'm gonna give this task a name. I'm gonna say uh, maybe this is my aerial labeling. Just call it that. And then we add labels for all of the things that we want to label in each of our images. So I said I wanted to label things like dock. I want to label boat, bat, boat. I want to label boat lift. And then I also want to label jet ski. So I'm going to add a label for jet ski. Okay, cool. Dock, boat, boat, lift, jet ski. So these are the labels that I'm going to be able to use in my labeling project the labels for the boxes I'm about to draw. Now, the next thing I need is I need to add my images into RoboFlow or into, uh, into CVAT. So I have my images here. Uh, let me just drag that to my other desktop. And so all I'm going to do here is uh, drop my images from here, select them all and drop them right here. And then I'll submit. And so here's what happens. CVAT uploads my images and it remembers each of those labels so that I can go into the labeling job that I've created and have my data ready for me to be able to go ahead and label it. So it says here, the data is being uploaded to the server. Now at this point, uh, you know, we can wait a little bit, but let me tell you about what's gonna happen next. After we get our images in CVAT, oh, the task was created, we will label them, download our labels, and then take our labels and our images and upload them to RoboFlow so that we can go about our model uh, development process. Okay, so let me open the task that was just created. And here, um, this, is, this is the task. I can actually go to my task homepage uh, in CVAT and you'll see a list of all my tasks. So the only one that I have here is in fact, this one that I just created. So I'm gonna open this task. I have this job down here where I have five different frames for the five different images. I'll open up that job. And here I'm dropped right into the labeling interface to be able to put labels across my images, okay? So here's what's key, here's what happens next. I go over here to the rectangle and I select what it is that I want to label. Now generally, starting with the thing that there's the most of in each image is most helpful. So for example, in this image, I see that there's a bunch of boat lifts. So I'm gonna label my boat lifts first. So I'm gonna click boat lift. Then I'm gonna click shape because I'm creating shapes, uh, that is boxes. So I'm gonna just click and drag around the box. And there we go. Look, I've created a, a given boat lift. Now here's a pro tip to create another box, push the N as a new N key on your keyboard. And then that will automatically create for you this process here. So I can go in and create another another one here. Great, hit N, creates another. Great, hit N, there's another. Okay, great. So I'm gonna do that for all of my dot, or for all of my lifts, docks, if there's any jet skis, and if there's any boats in each of my images. 
Now, you don't have to watch me do all of these. You can just kind of pretend that I did them all. Um, but for the sake of example, why don't I uh, just do this one image? And let me call it a few things. First things first is that you wanna label the entirety of the image. Do you see how my box is pretty tightly, uh, it's pretty tight around the object? There's not a lot of extra room. That's good. You want a little bit of room because the edges are really important, but you don't want too much room. So let's do that again here. See, I'm creating a little bit of room just like that. And then one more here, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to dock, hit N. Oops, so I've made a mistake here. I accidentally added a, uh, I can just delete that with a little undo. So I want to do a dock and hit shape. There we go. Uh, there's a dock down here. So I'll hit N. Dock down here. And you notice that it's a different color. See that does that by default so that I have these different colors so it's easier to see. And on the right hand side here, I can see that each of these are the ones that I've labeled so far. Now there's a few more docks that I'm going to label. So there's this one down here. And then there's one here. There's one here. Uh, oh, there's one hidden right there next to the boat lift. And one right here. Awesome. Uh, and I actually missed a boat lift down here. So let me go down and get that boat lift as well. I'll just get a shape and. Oops. Okay. And get that boat lift. Awesome. Okay, so this one's done. So now I need to click save and save all those things in the server. And then I can go to the next image. I can always hit F to go to the next. So I do the same thing across each of these images and have everything labeled. Now, when that's done, I'm gonna go back to my task once I've labeled all of my images and I'm gonna click dump annotations. This is key. I'm gonna dump annotations. And I want Pascal Voc 1.1. So it downloads all of those for me here. Task Arial in this zip. And uh, that opened up on my other one here. So let me open up that, uh, so here. So that downloaded here and it created image sets and annotations. So here's the annotations that we just created. So I mean, this one, um, this one actually has all the ones that we, we created here. And these other ones are empty because we haven't labeled anything in them yet. Now, now that I've had everything labeled, I mean, that's kind of it. You upload your images, you declare the things that you want to label, the classes, and then you download them. Then the next thing you do is you want to add these to RoboFlow. And so you can just go to app.roboflow.com and we're going to create a data set. I'm going to call this Arial Maritime EX, for example. It is an object detection data set. In my annotation group, let's just call it... Uh, uh, we can be generic and say like boats, etc. things like this. Okay, so now with that loaded here, um, I'm going to, see this is key. I need both my images and my annotations, okay? So I'm gonna drop in, remember I only labeled one of them, so I'm only gonna drop in the one that I labeled. And then I'm also gonna drop in the corresponding annotation here, this corresponding annotation. And look at that, everything matched up and RoboFlow did a nice job, and uh, everything makes sense here. You can see my, my boat lift and my, my docks. And so that looks good. So I'll finish my upload, I'll add them all to the training set, there's only one after all. And now everything is set and in a data set for me to be able to use for going about my way. If I wanted to, so maybe I wanted to, oops, maybe I wanted to create a data set where I train a model to recognize each of these things, uh, now I can do that. It's here in this data set. And I could go back and just add more images as I label more, uh, etc. So that's kind of it. You decide, collect your images, decide what you want to label in them, upload them to see that, label, download as Pascal Voc, drop them into RoboFlow with both your images and your annotations, hit upload, and you're good to go. And that's kind of it. So with that in mind, uh, 
you're good to go. Happy labeling. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can learn more about intricacies of computer vision. And good luck training.